What was once called the I-81 corridor may soon be named Dominion Power Way. Hello, I'm Larry Land, BACO's Director of Policy Development. On January 20th, Governor McDonnell released his 2012 transportation plan that encompasses this proposal and others that counties may be interested in. This plan is fairly comprehensive and attempts to address other critical issues such as land use, regional organization, and evolution. The centerpiece of this legislation is a boost in funding without a raise in fuels or other special tax revenues. Over the next eight years, Governor McDonald proposes a gradual increase of sales tax revenues dedicated to transportation. For the upcoming biennium, this would result in an increase of $110 million. Governor McDonald also proposes that at least 1% of general fund revenue growth above 5% be deposited in Virginia's Transportation Trust Fund for construction improvements. At the end of each fiscal year, 75% of any future general fund surplus would be dedicated to transportation. Governor McDonald's initiative also authorizes the sale of advertising, naming, and sponsorship rights for such facilities as roads and bridges. Any proposal to transfer revenues from the general fund to transportation is not consistent with our policy of supporting dedicated funding sources that are stable, reliable, and recurring. Of concern to VACO are provisions dealing with land use regulation and potential penalties that may be imposed upon local governments. Specifically, the local comprehensive plan must be consistent with long-range statewide transportation plan, the six-year improvement program, and location of routes that are part of the state highway system. One provision supported by VACO allows revenue sharing funds to be used for maintenance projects. And to the issue of devolution, by December 1, 2012, the Secretary of Transportation is required to complete a study and make recommendations on the devolution of secondary roads to counties with populations exceeding 200,000. VACO will conduct further analysis and communicate our concerns to members of the General Assembly. As you review this legislation, we invite you to please express your specific concerns to VACO and to your delegate and senator. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. That was perfect. A little stumble at the end, but not a big deal.